Okay, so I know normally on this channel we talk about cars and all the technology surrounding cars. Um, today we aren't exactly talking about a car as I'm sure you saw in the thumbnail and title. But let me explain. F1 of the skies. Boom, correlated. I joke, but this does really look cool and interesting. And I thought if it interests me, it might be interesting to some of you guys as well. So let's get into it. Airspeeder, a company that has been trying to make flying car racing a reality since 2019, has unveiled its latest creation, the Airspeeder Mark IV. And according to the company, the Mark IV will be the world's first electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft with a top speed of 225 miles per hour. And unlike the previous Airspeeders, which were all electric, the Mark IV will be powered by a 1340 horsepower Thunderstrike hydrogen turbo generator. You see, I told you, bloody interesting. Now the company behind the Airspeeder, Aloda Aeronautics, has been testing the Mark IV in southern Australia. The aircraft uses a unique gimbal thrust system that is operated by an artificial intelligence flight controller, which individually adjusts the four separate rotor pairs at each corner. The Mark IV also features a 3D printed combustor that was developed by the space industry for rocket engines. The combustor keeps the hydrogen flame temperature relatively low, which reduces nitro oxide emissions. Now, as I'm sure you could imagine, creating and organizing a new racing series is difficult. Trying to do that in the skies with racing machines that are relatively unheard of makes it even harder. But despite of these challenges, a Loda Aeronautics team remains confident that it will be able to hold crude racing events as early as 2024. A Loda Aeronautics boss, Matt Pearson, said in an interview, we and the world are ready for crude flying car racing. We have built the vehicles, developed the sports, secured the venues, attracted sponsors and technical partners. Now it's time for the world's most progressive, innovative and ambitious automotive brands, OE manufacturers and motorsport teams to be a part of a truly revolutionary new motorsport. Now the A-Speeder Mark IV is a manned aircraft that will weigh 950 kilograms. It has been designed specifically for racing and features a sleek, futuristic design that is sure to turn heads. The company is hoping that it will attract the attention of automakers and motorsport teams who are looking to get involved in this new form of motorsports. While the concept of flying car racing may seem like something out of a science fiction movie, Acepeeder is determined to make it a reality. The company has been working on this project for several years now and with the unveiling of the Mark IV, it seems that they are closer than ever to achieving their goal. So what can we expect from the crude flying car race? It's hard to say, but one thing is for sure, it's going to be exciting. With speeds of up to 225 miles per hour, pilots will need to have lightning fast reflexes and nerves of steel to compete in this new form of motorsport. If it all goes well, we could see a whole new era of racing with flying cars battling it out in the skies above. The A-Speeder Mark IV represents a major milestone for the development of flying car racing. With its impressive speed, unique technology and sleek design, it's clear that the team behind Airspeeder has put a lot of time and effort into making this dream a reality. While the idea of a crude flying car race may seem far-fetched, the Airspeeder team is confident that it will happen in 2024. If successful, this new form of motorsport could revolutionize the world of racing and open up new possibilities for the automotive industry. Only time will tell if flying car racing becomes a reality, but with the Airspeeder Mark IV, it seems that this future is closer than ever. But let me know what you think down below. Do you think this is a possible reality? Do you, would you actually watch it if this was a, a real sport? I think I would. I think it would be really cool. There will probably be tracks in the air, almost like that Red Bull Air Race, but it's just going to be like this, almost like Formula One looking Airspeeder stuff. It's just, I think it will be bloody cool. Um, I'd like to see it. I do think it would be really dangerous because what happens if you crash in the air? I mean, how do you keep the people safe if something like that happens? So I do have questions, but if it is possible, I think it would be cool. What do you think? Let me know down below. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you did like it, go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.